Think about that word, circumstance, right? Comes from two words, circle and stance. What is a circumstance? A circumstance are those things that surround me while I'm standing still. But when I start moving in a direction, I break through the obstacle, the boundary of circumstance. But most people, when they find themselves in a circumstance, what do they do? They just sit there, they stand there, they stay there, so they can wallow in their circumstance, which is why it is a circumstance. But if you start moving, it is no longer a circumstance. Here's what the scripture tell me. It tell, the scriptures tell me that we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Man, you gold medal? No, I'm more than gold medal. You number one? No, I'm more than number one. Super Bowl champion? No, I'm more than Super Bowl champion. I am more than a conqueror. I'm better than victorious. I'm bigger than just the winner. By the way, it's not something I'm going to have. It's something I already have. It's not something I'm going to, it's not, I'm not aware of the fact, one of these days I'm going to win. Right now I'm going to keep on losing, but one of these days, no, 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 I'm winning right now, right, 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 right now. By the way, I was winning right now when I was broke. I was winning right now when I was sick. I was winning right now when I was tired. I was already winning. Why? Because what's a moving picture to me is a snapshot to God. What's go- in eternity, what's going to be already has been, and it already is, and it's all the same thing, because in the realm of time, there's no such thing as the present. There's only the past and the future. As soon as I say now, it becomes then. Are y'all tracking? It's just like now, I, you can't hold now in your hand. You can't put now in a bottle. It's evaporated. But guess what? In the realm of eternity, There's no such thing as the past or the future. There's only the present. That's why God is the I am that I am and not the I was that I was or the I will be that I will be. He's the I am that I am. Why? Because there's no difference. God knows the end from the beginning because the end is the beginning and the beginning is the end. It's all the same thing. And that's why we have to be hyper-intentional with every word that follows the two, two most powerful words in the world, which are I am. Why? Because if I say I am stupid, I'm infusing my limitation with the power of eternity. I can't afford to do that. If I say I'm such a loser, I am broke, I am sick, when I say that, I'm infusing my limitations with the power of the name of God. Hmm, is it possible that's what it means to take God's name in vain? I'm taking God's name and emptying it of the power by infusing my limitation with it. When you understand who you are based on whose you are, you will stop acting as if every obstacle is bigger than you. The fact that the Lord is at hand. You use your mental discipline to remind yourself that in the presence of the enemy, the Lord is at hand. In the presence of sickness, the Lord is at hand. When you're standing by the bedside of a loved one who's dying, the Lord is at hand. When you're standing over the grave of someone that you love that you're burying, the Lord is at hand. When you are standing at the bank and you're, or, 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 you, or you open up your bank app and there's nothing in it, the Lord is at hand. And he's more powerful than any circumstance you will ever face. And when we learn how to make ourselves more aware of the presence of the Lord than we are the presence of difficulties, we can live in a state of perpetual joyfulness. How do I know that? Because the scripture tells me in his presence is fullness of joy. Oh, okay. So my real problem, the real reason I'm sad is because I'm unaware of his presence. The real reason I'm mad is because I'm unaware of his presence. The real reason I'm depressed is because I'm unaware of his presence. The real reason, I've got all this anxiety and I'm worried about tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. And oh, not the day after that, oh my goodness. And the first, and the this, and the, I'm, because I'm more aware of all of that stuff than I am the presence of the Lord. If you will maintain a willful awareness of God's presence, <laughs> my daughter used to say, Dad, she'd come to me and say, I'd say, Dee, you gotta practice the presence. What does that mean, practice the presence? She wouldn't say it like that, but that's how she wanted to say it, right? <laughs> She's like, I don't know what that means. What do you mean practice the presence? Become more aware of the presence of the Lord than you are the presence of all the stuff that in your mind is going wrong. 